he wants to live it, even if uh, the baby is known to be likely to need resuscitation or if the baby at birth is obviously blue and not initiating ventilation, the baby's transferred to the resuscitation cot on a transfer wrap and that can be used to quickly dry the baby. And in fact, drying the baby is one way of just providing a little bit of stimulation, but then that wet cloth should be discarded because leaving it there will um, increase the likelihood of the baby cooling. We then consider whether resuscitation of the airways is necessary. Uh, this issue has undergone considerable um, review over the last uh, three or four years and it's now quite clear that in the vast majority of cases resuscitation of the um, mouth and nose on the perineum is of no great benefit even in the presence of meconium. Routine resuscitation of the baby at the time of birth is not necessary even in the presence of meconium and in fact the only time in which um, resuscitation is recommended and the recommendation is still somewhat empirical is for the flat baby who's not breathing born through meconium. So suction can be performed and remember we have the suction catheter turned on with a pressure of around about 100 uh, millimetres of mercury and we provide uh, suction to the airway but it's important not for this not to be deep suction. We don't want to stimulate the pharynx and initiate uh, vagal bradycardia. So shallow suction uh, of the oropharynx, um, suction of the nasopharynx not really necessary. Um, so airway uh, suction is appropriate but for a, a minority of babies. Having dried the baby and cleared the airway, we then assess whether or not the baby is breathing vigorously. Okay, remember that if the baby's gasping or 